welcome let's continue discussion on solar flat plate collectors performance testing and system design in the last session we discussed about the top loss coefficient and calculation of overall loss coefficient for the collector now solar radiation in the form of heat is incident on the absorber surface so solar energy is incident on the absorber surface the absorber surface becomes hot this heat is absorbed by the fluid circulated through the risers which are welded to the absorber surface so when solar heat is incident so the absorber surface or plate surface becomes hot fluid is circulated now this sketch you can see the front view and top view of the collector so fluid is circulated through the uh, tubes or risers here so in the passage of its flow the fluid receives heat and it becomes hot now it is vital to correctly estimate how much and with what effectiveness heat is carried away by this fluid and this will determine the efficiency of the collector for this purpose we have to analyze the mechanism of heat transfer from hot absorber plate to the circulating fluid in two directions so we have to analyze in two directions across the flow and along the flow now here this shows the the fin tube plate assembly these are the risers this is a header tube bottom header and this is a top header now these of the bottom and uh, bottom and top header are closed so that the fluid enters here it may be pumped by with thermosiphon so fluid enters here it moves as it receives it it moves to the top and then it goes to the next collector okay so the objective is to understand temperature distribution across the flow direction 1 1 so this is the flow direction 1 1 so we are interested in temperature distribution along section 1 1 and then along the flow direction 2 2 so along the flow direction 2 2 so let us first see what is the temperature distribution across the flow so this is the the these are the tubes and this is the absorber plate and you can see that you the absorber plate becomes hot and then heat is transferred from absorber plate to the fluid and the fluid is circulated here so we have to consider the heat balance across an elementary slice dx dy so we consider an elementary slice of length dx and now dy is perpendicular to the plane of this paper, plane of this board you can say so y direction is perpendicular to the plane of the board now here tube diameter inner diameter is di tube outer diameter is do and then tube spacing this is called w is called tube spacing tube spacing is w this is x direction and this is top direction y direction is deep here now hfi hfi is the inside convective heat transfer coefficient from the fluid to the tube so fluid is flowing here so so the outer surface is hot and fluid is receiving heat so the direction of the heat transfer is in this direction tf is the temperature of the fluid flowing through the tubes dp del p del p is the thickness of the plate now this is the tb temperature of the uh, uh, you can say temperature and tp is the temperature of the plate you can say so this is the temperature of the plate and now this is temperature of the tube surface you can say here temperature of the tube surface tb this is a temperature distribution over the plate and tube assembly so at the center of the plate the temperature is maximum and at the center there is no temperature gradient existing that is dtp by dx equal to 0 so we will again come here now we have considered this slice this slice is enlarged here so heat is coming in this direction it is leaving in this direction solar heat is 
incident on this surface. Now this dimension is dy, this dimension is dx and this is dp, thickness of the absorber plate. Now net heat conducted in heat balance is net heat conducted into the element plus incident energy absorbed is equal to heat lost from the element that is equal to heat loss to this from the element to the fluid. Now if we write down the heat balance here is Kp del P or d by or d2p by dx square dx dy dx dy is the area so dx and dy is the area across the conduction the heat is taking place uh, it is transferring so this dx dy and then s s into dx dy again dx and dy it is take, uh, coming by solar radiation which is equal to ul dx dy what is equal to heat lost from the element how heat is lost overall heat loss coefficient ul and dx dy is the area tp is the plate temperature minus ta is the ambient temperature now here kp is the thermal conductivity of the absorber plate material watt per meter kelvin now if we simplify this we will get this equation d2 tp by dx square equal to ul by kp del p into bracket tp minus ta minus s by ul here so this is the simplified equation now the solution of the equation m so solution we have to solve this is a differential equation we have to solve this equation the solution of the equation uh, by integrating and then applying the uh, boundary conditions will give you the temperature distribution uh, along the the plate you can say the temperature distribution so this is the solution which is not uh, the sol detailed solution is not a focus of this study so uh, we'll just have a, an idea of what type of temperature distribution we are getting here now the solution temperature distribution is expressed in terms of w do and m now m here is ul overall heat loss coefficient kp del p kp is the thermal conductivity of the plate del p is the thickness of the plate is to 1 by 2 that is square root of this now the temperature distribution obtained is similar to that for a long rectangular fin so in heat transfer the analysis of fin we have already uh, covered in in our formal academics in heat transfer the fin effectiveness can be given the fin effectiveness equation of the plate can be written as this pi equal to tan h this is a hyperbolic tan hyperbolic into bracket m into w minus d by 2 and then the same term is repeated here in the denominator now from the above equation the expression for the rate of energy flow flowing through the plate to the fluid now the rate of energy flowing through the plate to the fluid can be written and we can define collector efficiency factor as follows so collector efficiency factor we can define f dash is equal to reciprocal of this is w tube spacing ul overall heat loss coefficient and then into bracket ul w minus do phi phi is this quantity fin effectiveness plus do again and then 1 plus pi di hfi hfi is the heat transfer convective heat transfer coefficient on the inside of the tube now this collector efficiency factor f dash represents the ratio of the actual useful gain rate to the gain which would occur if the collector absorber plate were at the local fluid temperature here we can see the plate temperature is higher than the collector fluid temperature so we can say the surface temperature so this there is a temperature difference this and this so if this temperature due to this temperature difference losses are taking place so if these two temperatures become equal then the losses will be minimum and the, the useful heat gain rate would be maximum so f dash tells us about the effectiveness with which the heat is being transferred to the fluid okay so f dash is the constant it is a constant for any collector design as it involves collector spacing and all diameters of the tubes and all so it is a function of collector design and fluid flow rate 